so welcome to all in lecture number 10 of module 2 that is how to live in relationship in previous lecture we studied yama and niyam before that we studied eight fold path and in this lecture we are going to study another formulation that is wealth wishes natural laws and liberation so let's see how this formulation is going to help us to live in harmony so the formulation right understanding wealth wishes liberation as recognized as the process as well as result outcome so we are going to discuss this formulation from the point of view of outcome the outcome means achievement so we will study all these four principle right understanding of natural law wealth wishes and liberation so what would be the correct order correct order is this first i have to ensure right understanding of natural laws at least at the level of thought then according to these natural laws we can earn our wealth in a right manner with the earned wealth we can have our desires which can be fulfilled and ultimately with all these three we are making effort for liberation so ultimately we are working for liberation so in essence in accordance with the right understanding of natural laws ensuring rightfully earned wealth and fulfillment of his wishes we are making effort for the liberation so let's try to understand all these four component of this formulation one by one and we will see how it will help us to live in harmony <clears throat> so wealth so what would be our wealth so all the natural resources mind and body is our wealth mind is our wealth body is our wealth and the natural resources available around us are our wealth so with a healthy mind and healthy body we can work on natural resources if our mind is not healthy if our mind is not in good condition then we start exploiting our body along with natural resources so the wealth produced by these resources the wealth can be produced by using mind body and natural resources when we work on natural resources with right utilization of mind and body a production is made and this production is in the form of physical facility so while producing this physical facility we should be aware about natural laws we should have a right understanding in ourselves <clears throat> we should be able to utilize my body we should be able to recognize our need so with healthy mind we are able to ensure we are able to evaluate our need and according to need we do production using natural resources so achievement of production will be number one physical facility so the requirement of food to the body is our need <clears throat> so full to fulfill the demand of sensations is basically to fulfill the need of the body so fulfillment of one's physical needs as well as fulfillment of physical needs of the other is achievement so what would we do with production we will ensure physical facility we will fulfill needs of my body and my, my relatives body this is the achievement of this wealth 
<coughs> this physical facility. So it is also important to understand the production principles of natural resources based on which we self organize our occupation work for the production. So the natural laws are first to sustain the cyclability. So when we are going to production, we have to sustain the cyclability of four orders. Second, to utilize the resources according to the production. So once I have healthy mind, I have right understanding in me, then I can utilize resources in a right manner. The third one is to be complementary in the enrichment of the rest of nature. So once we are going to utilize these natural resources for the production processes, we have to ensure the enrichment for rest of the nature. So if you observe the nature, there are certain cycles and all things which we produce remains for certain time. After that, they change into something else. So for example, when plants absorb the soil, air, etc., it gradually turns into plant cells and finally into a fruit. And when animal, birds or human eat the same plant leaves, it turns into human body, animal body. So remaining, remaining part or waste from animal birds and human body go back into the air, water and soil. So in this manner, a cyclicity in nature is maintained. So while production, while producing our wealth, while working with physical facility, this natural laws should be maintained. And it can be done with the help of a healthy mind. Okay. So to make the right use of resources is also required. So with cyclicity, with mutual enrichment, we should be able to right utilize the physical facility. If we do this, then the wealth is available to all of us in society. Okay. So let's understand another principle, fulfillment of wishes. So fulfillment of wishes along with understanding of natural laws plus wealth. So once I have understood this natural laws, now I have natural desires in me. Now I am desiring only those things which are harmonious. I am desiring for relationship. I am desiring for fulfilling my needs of body. So with right understanding of natural laws, I will be able to desire harmonious things. If I don't have this right understanding of natural law, I may desire anything that may create chaos for human being and rest of the nature. So that's why fulfillment of wishes can only happen with understanding of natural laws plus wealth. So we can fulfill wishes of oneself, of the society. It means I am aware what is required at the level of family, society, nature, then the whole social order, the whole system. So with right understanding of natural law, I am desiring my wishes, keeping all these three in the center. Okay. Now let's move to another component of this formulation, living with understanding of natural laws. So as I told you, the laws of living in relationship and order, the laws related to order in society and entire nature is required. So living in relationship and order with understanding of natural laws is required for a fulfilling life. So there are existential laws 
एंड इट इज टू बी कनेक्टेड दर लिविंग बाई नेचुरल लॉज ऑर्गेनाइजेज द सोसाइटी एंड सोसाइटल ऑर्डर द रिजोल्यूशन इज हैविंग क्लैरिटी ऑफ थॉट रिगार्डिंग लिविंग विथ एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ नेचुरल लॉज एंड सोसाइटी एंड सोसाइटल ऑर्डर आर कनेक्टेड विद एक्जिस्टेंशियल लॉज सो वेन वी ऑब्जर्व इट इट गिवस अ होलिस्टिक सोल्यूशन विच कनेक्ट टू लिविंग राइटफुली विथ नेचुरल लॉज सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ को एक्जिस्टेंशियल प्रिंसिपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ को एक्जिस्टेंशियल लॉज इज रिक्वायर्ड इट इज टू बी नोटेड दैट दीज बिहेवियल सोसाइटल लॉज एंड फिजिकल लॉज आर एक्जिस्टेंशियल इन नेचर वी हैव नॉट टू डेवलप इट इन आर्बिट्ररी मैनर सो फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल टू एग्जिस्टेंस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ को एग्जिस्टेंस इज वर्किंग एंड वी हैव टू एंश्योर दीज प्रिंसिपल्स एट एवरी लेवल इफ वी डू दी एंश्योर दीज प्रिंसिपल्स एट एवरी लेवल then only a fulfilling life can be ensured so the existence is governed by existential laws we have read all these things in uhv2 and uhv3 that coexistence is existence so coexistence is working at the base at every level so nature by natural physical behavioral societal laws all we have to understand Just understand. We have to articulate in words. We have to express it in a certain language, certain manner. So resolution is having clarity of thought regarding living and understanding of natural laws. So once we understood these natural laws, we have clarity in myself. We feel resolve in myself, and with resolution, I am able to ensure this coexistence. at the level of individual at the level of family at the level of nature at the level of society so we have already understood it that coexistence is working at the level of individual coexistence is working at the level of family in the form of nine feelings coexistence is working at the level of society in the form of comprehensive human goals that you have studied in uhv2 and this coexistence is also working at the level of nature in the form of cyclicity and mutual enrichment in nature so if we are known to this natural laws if we know that coexistence is at the center then we can have a good life then we can fulfill our desire then we can ensure right utilization of mind body and health then we can ensure right utilization of physical facilities so for all that understanding of natural laws is required so let's move to another component of this formulation that is liberation so liberation means now i am able to see the reality as it is so to see the reality as it is it is a formulation through which we live in a relationship and ultimately reach at the level of understanding and realization so when we ensure living with an understanding of natural laws we acquire rightfully earned wealth fulfillment of wishes and liberation we can see these laws are complete organized systems it helps us to see the complete existential reality and liberation means i am free from any assumption liberation means now i am able to see the reality as it is so liberation help us to get rid of all types of bondages which are essentially caused by misunderstanding confusion so living with understanding of natural laws wealth fulfillment of wishes with liberation so along with this we can fulfill our desire which are according to natural laws so once i see the reality as it is i get rid of all type of bondages 
and this liberation is our ultimate goal and to achieve this liberation we have to produce thing we have to fulfill relationships but our ultimate goal is liberation okay so let's sum up we have studied these four component of this formulation under right understanding of natural laws wealth wishes and liberation so if we understand this formulation again we feel harmony in myself i live in relationship with others and i ensure harmony with rest of natures and i also achieve liberation liberation means now i am free from any assumption i am free from any dogmas i am free from any preconditioning i have realized myself i have realized this coexistence so this is basically liberation so it's all from my side for this lecture thank you very much i hope you will be able to understand these formulations in next lecture we will study another formulation which would help us to live in relationship thank you very much have a good day